guys, welcome back to the channel and this is the second episode where I'm going through uh, what, how much money you can make in a month as a delivery driver. Uh, just try and give an idea to people out there that have never done it before, what kind of money can be made and whether it's worth um, maybe quitting a normal job to give this a go instead. So we're going to be going through the month of August. Now this is summer holidays and I have got four children. So this was a very busy month and I did not work anywhere near close to what I would normally work. So you have to bear that in mind. And obviously I will tell you how many days, how many hours, what pounds per hour, etc. that I've done. Um, so just to put it out there, we did have two holidays. So we went to Disneyland Paris um, at... Uh, the end of the month uh, we also went to Butlins at the beginning of the month so we had a busy holidays it also was my wife's birthday and my twins second birthday um, on top of this I did have a little bit of sickness where I didn't go to work for a few days uh, so in total I only worked 16 days out of the month um, and my working days should have been around about including um, you know, it's not one just four weeks it spilled over into four weeks and three days. So I should have worked about 22, 23 days this month. But um, obviously due to holidays, etc., did work a little bit less. There's also uh, days where I had commitments like halfway through the day or at the end of the day where I didn't work a full day. Uh, so I've worked 16 hours, 100, sorry, 16 days and 115 hours. Without further ado, I'll show you how much I earned. For roughly two thirds of a month, uh, three quarters of a month, I earned £1,692.45. Now, as I've said before, if you're looking to get into delivery driving, one thing that you're probably going to want to do before you actually quit your day job and start is make sure that you've got enough work. And what I mean by that is don't just open one single account. Don't just go think that you're going to earn enough money by having an Uber Eats account or having a delivery account. A few years ago that was true. You could probably have one account and you make enough money to pay for your insurance, your fuel, and make a living on top. However, that has now changed. Um, I, as you'll see in a second, I've got um, six different companies that I'm working with at the moment. Um, actually, let's show you. So as I was saying, I've got six different companies I'm working with. Deliveroo, Just Eat, Amazon Flex, a local contractor who we're doing parcels for every with, um, Uber and Stuart. Uh, Stuart have the Tesco Wush deliveries. Uh, so food delivery has taken a massive sort of nosedive lately. This is why I picked up the Amazon Flex and the contractor. Um, a few years ago, you could make £20, 20 pound plus an hour doing food delivery. That's kind of changed with an oversaturation of the marketplace. That's why I say you need to get as many strings to your bow as possible. Um, in comparison to last month, things have changed a little bit because the contractor that I was working with, I was doing half of his round, has gone sick. So um, I've only got a small amount of that. If you did want to check out uh, last month's video, um, just scroll back through my videos, you'll find it. It'll have the same sort of thumbnail. Um, so yeah, so this month, as you can see, like I keep saying, you need to have as many strings as you bow as possible because all of my incomes are quite well divided, apart from maybe Uber Eats and Stuart because they have less of the market share. And going back to um, this pie chart here, uh, as I said, I worked 16 days, 115 hours. Now, it only works out to £14.71 pence an hour. And that, um, last month, it was about £18, £19. And that is because uh, this month I've been more reliant, unfortunately, on the food deliveries. And as I say, order volume is not so high, meaning that my hourly rate has decreased quite significantly. Um, so if you can get a contractor or if you can get an Amazon Flex to work around doing... Uh, normal delivery driving that's fantastic a reason why I do this kind of work is the flexibility so obviously if I was in a normal full-time job there's no way that last month I could have probably only worked 16 days uh, you know taking all that time off time off at the beginning of the day time off in the middle of the day time off at the end of the day it gives me so much flexibility and that's why I love this work to be fair it's a direct comparison to last month so as I said last month I did work more 
um, but I definitely got more for my time last month. So as I said, as I said, eighteen eighty-two per hour, two thousand three hundred and fourteen pounds last month. Still wasn't really a full-time month. I did have time off for uh, bits and bobs. Uh, so on a full-time month, I probably work in more like one sixty to one eighty hours rather than one four three. But as you can see, um, it's definitely taken a bit of a nosedive over August. That is kind of no normal, to be fair, for the market. Summertime is the quietest time. Um, generally, that's because more people are out enjoying themselves at places like the beach um, and not ordering food. And also, there's more uh, people on the road wanting to do deliveries. More people go out on a bicycle uh, wanting to do deliveries over the summer months. One interesting thing that I have spoken about quite a bit before is uh, the decline of Just Eat. Uh, so Just Eat, as you can see from here, uh, com this month compared to last month has fallen by about uh, £150, £200. Um, and I was actually more available for Just Eat this, mo this month than I was the previous month. Um, and that shows how much it's declined. I actually look back at a November payslip I had from them. Um, and that showed that that month I did £1,300 with them. Uh, so it just shows you how much Just Eat has changed um, over the last past year. They've well oversaturated their platform, unfortunately. But unfortunately, I don't get to keep all that money, do I? Uh, there are expenses in mine. So my main fixed expense is the uh, car insurance. The car is completely paid off, so I'm not going to include that in these calculations. Uh, but the car insurance... Uh, so if you are just new to doing delivery, you need to make sure you get higher reward insurance on top of your social, domestic and pleasure. Um, this is unfortunately a bit costly. So I'm just going to give you the figure on top of what my normal insurance would have been. So on top of that normal insurance, I paid an extra £129.34. And, um, and then fuel as well. So I did 1,093 miles this month at a total cost of £124.00 and 64 pence so let's see how that affects my time after all my expenses uh for the 16 days for the 115 hours i made 1438 pounds and 47 p before tax um obviously this is not a great income but as i said i did take a lot of time off this is only really based on two-thirds of a proper month I would be working next month. I will the month of September that we're in now. I'll probably be working a lot more hours. Uh, fresh as week as this month, so I work a lot of hours that, that week. Uh, as I probably make quite decent money. Uh, so per hour that works out at £12.51 p per hour, uh, which is not really ideal. Really, I want to be stretching towards £15 20 pound an hour, uh, which is about what I achieved last month. Uh, so yeah, not the best. Well, I hope this has informed you in some kind of way. Last month's video was quite uh, performed quite well, so this is why I've done a second one. Um, if you've got any questions about working in the gig economy or insurance or just personal questions, I don't mind. Uh, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. But until next time, do the normal things like comment, subscribe. I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.